Cryptography is a study of encrypting and decrypting information for secure transmission between two people. Generally, there are two steps. Encryption is the process of converting plain text into code or ciphertext. Decryption is the reverse, converting ciphertext back to plain text. Why encryption matters. At a high level, businesses have three powerful tools to keep both users and internal data out of the wrong hands. These are encryption, authentication, and authorization. Encryption is a perfect example of a non-intrusive security measure, how it works. Generally, an encryption algorithm translates or encodes plain text into ciphertext. It makes it unreadable and therefore useless to anyone without the decryption key. Symmetric encryption uses the same key for both encryption and decryption. It's fast and easy, provided that the key stays secret. The strength of the key depends on its length, its entropy, or the randomness in creating it, and how easy it is to deconstruct. Symmetric algorithms or ciphers can be a block or a stream. Block ciphers encrypt data in blocks, whereas stream ciphers encrypt data one bit at a time. AES, or Advanced Encryption Standard, is a block cipher used across the internet. Key lengths range from 128 to 256 bits, which is quite long. AES using a 256-bit key is considered unbreakable. Asymmetric encryption. Asymmetric encryption uses two different keys for encryption and decryption. The encryption, public key, is visible to all, while the decryption key stays private. As a result, asymmetric encryption takes longer, but it's considered more secure. Symmetric encryption is considered less secure than asymmetric, but it's faster and uses less computing power. These two methods are used in tandem to provide security over a network. Symmetric and asymmetric encryption work together in SSL or TLS. SSL, or Secure Sockets Layer, is an older form of TLS, a protocol running on the application layer of the internet designed to secure web communications through a TLS handshake. To establish a TLS connection, the client can either make a request using port 443, which is reserved for encrypted HTTPS traffic, or request that the server switch to TLS. If the server agrees, a handshake is initiated. An asymmetric cipher generates a session-specific shared key, while further communication is symmetrically encrypted. The overall connection is protected with the more secure asymmetric cipher. Still, beneath that, symmetric encryption is used to protect the data without slowing down transmission. Password protection with bcrypt. Data transmitted over TLS is considered safe, but what about sensitive data stored in a database, like user passwords? Generally, the best practice is to hash and salt passwords using a powerful time-tested algorithm like bcrypt. Hashing mathematically scrambles the data, making it difficult to reverse engineer. But since passwords are short and can be predictable, like my password, if your password is that, please change it, hashed passwords may still be susceptible to brute force attacks. Salting helps address both by adding a unique value to the end of a password before hashing. This makes it longer and increases entropy. Bcrypt, which has been around for decades, hashes and salts passwords in a way that slows down brute force attacks even as computing power increases. Even though it's old by some standards, it's considered industry grade and plenty of popular authentication and authorization platforms depend on it every day. When should you talk about encryption in an interview? You'll unlikely have to go into detail about encryption in an interview. Still, it's good to know the best practices for encryption. Generally, you should encrypt both in transit and at rest. Encrypting in transit these days mostly means using HTTPS rather than HTTP, using TLS protocols above. Encrypting at rest means protecting data while in storage. Most modern databases allow for encryption, often AES 256-bit. Depending on your application, you may also want to encrypt while processing, for example, if you're working in fintech. Cloud architecture offers some great options to do just that. Finally, modern messaging apps like iMessage, WhatsApp, and Signal often use end-to-end -end encryption. That is, the message is actually encrypted from one user to another, so the unencrypted message is never stored anywhere except on the user's device.